Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're not gonna be talking about welding. We are gonna be talking about the next best thing, fishing, building an artificial fish habitat in my pond. I'm gonna take you out there in just a second. I just got through digging out another 10% or so, and that's going to be the shallow 32, 36 inch spawning area. I've already got some rocks and some structure out there. I got stumps in the deeper water right before it. And now I'm gonna build artificial, you've seen them, they, they look like this. All right, it's pretty good. But I wanna do it on the cheap, right? And I wanna show everybody else how to do it because they're fish, they don't care. It doesn't have to say Pond King or anything like that. It just needs to be some structure that you can't get hung up on. Um, and what I used is drip tape. I had this 4,000 foot of it I've actually got two rolls, rolls. This is what I use in my garden. I got my garden set up on a timer with drip tape and irrigation, and it's, I'm trying to use it as like a grocery store. I don't have a lot of time to mess with it. So I use this stuff. And plastic, I'm, you guys probably didn't know about that. But anyway, plastic mulch in this is a game changer when it comes to garden. But this is not a garden video, Chris. I digress all the time. All right, so. Here's what I've learned. You already, you guys are putting it together already. You're like, oh man, you know, yeah, that'll work or that won't work, let me know. But there's a few things that I learned as I was putting these structures together and I wanna share that with you. Hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell because this is not gonna only be a welding channel. It's gonna be tailor welding and cool stuff. I'm gonna be building swimming pools. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome in the pond. I'm gonna be building the magnum log splitter. I'm building a big uh, cooker over there, big fireplace. I'm building some cool stuff. It's not gonna be just pipe welding. I'm not trying to screw my algorithms up or nothing, but you know how it is. Anyway, I wanna build, I wanna show you guys because this would've helped me. So, real simple. Stick the drip tape in some sack creek. All right, no big deal, right? Well, here's the thing. You can get this 4,000 foot roll of drip tape for like 200 bucks or something, a little over 200 bucks. You don't have to buy 4,000 foot. You don't need 4,000 foot. You can, it's pretty cheap. That's the main takeaway. But as it spools off, you'll notice it's got memory. It's got, see it stands up and it folds down. You saw that with this one. So as I was putting this together, this isn't exactly what I wanted. It would work. This is a little bit more like what I want, you know? And when it hits the water, I'm gonna take you out to the pond in a minute. We're gonna throw, uh, well, I'll dip that one in the water too. And I'm gonna put this one in the water. But just know that how you put it in with the memory, is kind of, when it, when it floats up, I feel like it's gonna do like this. And then when you flip it over, if you put them in the right way with memory, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of float up like this. Um, now, the other thing was, Let's go see what it looks like in the pond. Might as well go for a ride with me. That's where we put all the dirt that came out of the pond. All that land over there was falling down really bad. So it just made sense to dig the pond out. It's like a, a plus plus, you know? But there's, I put some of the dirt here too, uh, so I could get in my pole barn a little better. And I straightened up the orchard some. But, oh man, this isn't working out. Here's the pond. I'll flip the camera around so you can see kind of what it looks like. All right, there's the pond. It is way down. I'm gonna go right off the edge of the dock here and show you what these structures look like. And then we'll go over there. Right over there is where the new dig out is. You can see a little bit of my structures over there. We'll see if these babies float. Welcome to the dock. Got black plastic for a weed barrier. Hate weeds around everything. I got a, a three inch hammer union. That way I can build whatever implement I want. Fire pit, uh, you name it. Huge umbrella, whatever I want, I can hammer it on there. Seasons change, I can take it off and put a fire pit, you know? And before I get in, I was gonna feed the fish because they're just hanging out. They heard me uh, walk up and they are, very hungry. 
I built that platform to swim off of, but it's not much fun swimming because those brim will remove moles and tear nipples. <laughs> oh, it's, it's miserable. Some rubber boots would have been nice. That would have been a nice thought. We'll set him down right here. Wow, that dude really does come up. But when you put him out here, maybe they need to fill up with water first. I, mean, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work good. All right. And this one, set this over here. I built this platform at the end of my dock just so I could get down here and not get in the mud. We used to swim in it, but the brim got so bad. Hey, that's cool. But what's it gonna do when they fill up with water? That's the question. I think it'll just kind of be neutral and be something like that. Little fish aren't scared of me, are they? Want some more food? Oh, they like it. Oh, look, it's my little home. I keep a broom down here so I can keep this clean so I can see the fish. So the next plan for this little area right here, the swimming pool is going to go out there. Can't wait for you to see it. I'm talking pool lights, uh, water you can drink, and a floating dock all the way around it. It's going to be something to see. Uh, the next idea for this is to put these fish structures around it. And I want to put lights on this little platform, underwater lights, so we can sit out here and watch the massive bass blow up on these brim. This is going to be like the Thunderdome. All right, let's go look at the fish structures. All right, guys, let me fill you in on what I got going here. That's black pit liner, 50-year plastic that they use in pits when they're drilling a well. Ended up with some of it. Company was got sold out. And that was left over and somebody called me and said, hey, you better come get this plastic if you want it. I made a beeline for it. I have used it everywhere too. Now I've got my tires and the tires are, let me flip the camera around. The tires have rock in them, pea gravel. I cut holes in the top to uh, let the air out. And I was thinking little fish would come in and out of the top. You know, kind of treat it like an aquarium. I've got a few of my artificial structures out there. And I stacked rocks up strategically and created cavities and voids a lot like a fish tank. And it looks like that all through there. And this should be a really nice spawning area, especially when those things start floating up. Um, that's one of the other styles that I tried. I tried doing the bag and putting the drip tape in the side. And it, I think it's gonna work fine, but it was just too much trouble. I've got another one over there. Same difference. I'll put a bunch of structure there. My stumps, I've got stumps. Uh, you can see a little of them right now. That's some deeper water. So the stumps are right outside the shallow area, that's where the 10 pound bass are gonna hang out. Guys, I am open to ideas for the spawning area. I don't have much more time to do very much. Um, I don't want too much structure. It makes it hard to fish and to find the fish. And what was odd is a lady that had been setting up ponds for 40 years for the state of Louisiana told me they recommended no structure, zero. And I thought, man, that just sounds cruel, really. <laughs> I need somewhere to get. But so I don't want to do too much. I think I've got enough spawning area. I've got some more over there. Here's the other spawning area. It, um, I've already got a ditch that the water should back way up. The water's going to 
actually be on the other side of that wood pile. <laughs> it's gonna be much bigger than what you're seeing now. But that's the other structure. Fill me in on what you guys uh, think or have to say or good ideas or am I doing it wrong? Again, let me know if I'm doing it wrong too. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.